Right now, you're probably thinking that I've over-exaggerated the title and it's simply too bold a statement to hold any value or credibility. After all, Pongkrol did dart the hands of Dogma in Season 4 of Star Wars The Clone Wars, right? Well, after doing a bit of research, using my own intuition and knowledge of the Clone Wars, and combining the facts with a couple of theories, I've come to conclude that Pong Quirrell was one of, if not the most influential character of the Star Wars universe. And that's really saying something considering he only appeared in four episodes of the show. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video and explore the reasons why Pong Quirrell possessed so much power and influence throughout the galaxy, albeit much of an untapped due to his premature death at the hands of Dogma. The quote, arrogance is our undoing, has never been truer when one looks at the case of Pong Krell. He knew he was an extremely gifted individual as not only was he physically an enormously strong Jedi, but also mentally as his connection to the Force was unparalleled, shown in the fact that he was one of the only known Jedi to accurately predict the downfall of the Republic. A new power is rising. I've foreseen it. The Jedi are going to lose this war, and the Republic will be ripped apart from the inside. With that said, Pongkrell almost had it all. He could have concocted a plan to prevent Order 66 and become a savior to the Republic and its people. However, his arrogance ultimately blinded him and he chose to give in to his temptations and betray the Republic. Although he could foresee the downfall of the Jedi, he couldn't foresee or fathom his own death at the hands of mere clones. And thus his fatal flaw was his ego, a flaw he was never able to overcome and that led him to the dark side in his eventual execution. With that said however, some still do say that Kroll foresaw even more than previously thought. They argue that his force vision was much more intense and vivid than many thought it to be. They say he not only foresaw the fall of the Republic and rise of the Sith, but also saw the clones massacring thousands upon thousands of Jedi, which as a result would not only justify Kroll's hate toward clones, but also his diabolical plan to make them all kill each other in a devastating ground battle. This is not it for the theories however and we're going to dive even further into uncharted territory. When Pong Krell is set up and then shot and stunned by clone medic Tup, something is triggered within his inhibitor chip, which leads to it slowly deteriorating until it fully malfunctions and triggers early into the battle of Ringo Vinda. Or at least that's what the theory says. Although you do have a reason to be skeptical about this one, in my opinion it's still plausible as never before had a clone's inhibitor chip malfunction like that, and never before had a clone shot a Jedi in an aggressive manner before Order 66. To add to this, Top was also one of the only clones to have a cognitive dissonance throughout the Battle of Umbara. He was the only one to be noticeably torn between following the orders or disobeying them, which could have also had effects on his chip. Although this theory does have some flaws, I still believe that Top's indecisiveness combined with Pongkrell's capture contributed to his inhibitor chip eventually malfunctioning. Hey, Dub! Wake up! What? I'm trying to sleep. Where are they? Who? You know! Don't tell me they're going to disobey orders! What? I didn't say that. You know we have to tell the General. No, 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 you can't. We have to tell him. If we know what they're up to, and we keep our mouths shut, then we'll be complicit in their insubordination. Do you really want to be court-martialed? With that said, it's no doubt why Krell, prior to his death, was one of, if not the most important character in the Star Wars universe. He was, after all, one of the only Jedi to know the true nature and outcome of the war and could have potentially foiled it if he had made different choices. In saying this, it is a little blurry after his death as to whether he really did trigger the slow malfunction of Top's inhibitor chip, and the theory can, admittedly, sound a little outlandish. Nevertheless, if ever proved to be true, it would be a prime example of the butterfly effect at work, as shown through Pongkrol being stunned by Top, Top's chip malfunctioning as a result, Fives later investigating the malfunction and subsequently dying because of it, and of course Rex becoming highly suspicious and removing the chip himself, convincing others to do so as well. So to finish off this video, I want to hear your thoughts on the potential fountain of influence Pongkrell could have had on the Star Wars universe, as well as your opinions or iterations on the two theories I spoke about in this video. Don't forget to check out and join the wider intergalactic community, we're active on Discord, Instagram and of course our website. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.